Okay, good afternoon, Hallie, and how are you today? I'm doing really well, thank you. It's a beautiful day on the West Coast, and I'm happy to be here with you. Awesome. Thank you for, for um, doing this with me. Anyways, I was just wondering, how has the COVID-19 uh, pandemic affected uh, private lending with Fiskard Capital? Well, Fiskard is a little bit of a different type of private lender. We're a mortgage investment corporation, so we're not an individual private investor. We're a pool of mortgages, um, and we're a very large organization, so we lend from BC right through to Ontario. Um, you know, it's, it changed from week to week for the first six weeks. You know, the first week or two, it was all about like, a bit of panic process. How do we get these deals on the, that we already have in the books closed? How do we get appraisals done? How do we get our legal done? How do we get mortgages funded? Um, and then it was more, do we look at our products and do we have to make any changes due to maybe declining values, deferrals, all sorts of different things that really were more regional in nature. You know, things that were happening in Alberta were very different than were happening in Winnipeg, very different than was happening in the GTA or on Vancouver Island. So there's a lot of that kind of changes going on. I can tell you we're very busy, uh, as we normally are quite busy, but um, just banks tightening up on income qualifications, maybe not funding those borderline deals. That's really what our niche is and where we fit in. So, I mean, it was a change at first, but I think there's been some really great things that have come out of it. Working from home, our staff adjusted within days. Uh, but as far as the actual private lending itself, it was more of process and then making sure your guidelines were applicable depending on the region. Yes, yes, that's great. And what I was just speaking with a realtor today and he was saying he had um, a couple banks actually pull on more than one deal at the last minute. And um, so I was telling him that, uh, you know, they are tightening guidelines, you know, maybe, maybe they didn't ask the questions at the beginning. And then once COVID hit, it was like, oh, my goodness, now we have to ask these questions. And, and of course, maybe the person wasn't working, maybe they deferred their mortgage, maybe they, they were collecting serve and, and a lot of the banks just simply aren't lending out money when you're doing that. Yeah, yeah. and so they did um, help out in a number of those circumstances because of the short-term nature of our mortgage products and the open nature of our mortgage products, we were able to you know, assist those borrowers to kind of get that deal closed so they weren't losing deposits and then, you know, their world wasn't crashing around them. And that brokers like yourself, that smart brokers will go back in and refinance them as soon as possible when things have settled down like it is now. I think things yes. have really settled in. Lenders, have un we all understand the landscape and we've moved on. That's great. That's great. And so now I have a um, status with Fiskard because, yep. again, you're one of my favorite private lenders because of the, you know, fairly open mortgages, um, no fees. Um, so what, why does Fiskard like to work with a broker such as myself and give me that BFF status? Well, it's funny when we came up with BFF because our corporate tagline or mantra is building brighter financial futures. And because we're also, which is a lot of BFFs in there, and because we're also very um, social media savvy, we have quite a big presence online. We thought we could have a really cool spin on the BFF, you know, best friends forever. And those are our great brokers, brokers that have earned the right to get to the top of the queue. And when we're really busy and we see a deal come in from one of our BFFs, like, like you, Terry Lynn, that we know the deal is going to be a Fiskar deal because you know our guidelines. You're not going to send us a second mortgage request at 85% loan to value because we don't, you know, you don't, we don't do that. You know our products intimately. So when we see Terry Lynn's email come in or deal come in, we go, all right, top of the queue. Our underwriters love it. It's well presented. It fits our guidelines. It's something that there's a 99% chance we're going to be able to do it. And the other 1% or you know, a few percent might be an appraisal or things that are out of our control and out of your control. But we figured that, you know, we needed to be able to. Thank brokers like yourselves for being diligent, for being thoughtful, for being creative in how you present a deal. And what we have found with people like yourself, brokers like yourself, you ask the right questions of your borrowers. Do you have any other assets, other real estate? What are the intangibles? What don't we know? Mm -hmm. Tell us right up front. And I don't know how you do it, but you get all the information out of them so that when it comes to our desk, we're like, yeah, that's Terry Lynn's deal. Let's just underwrite it, get it through. And we love that. And I know that you've seen, we've actually referred some of our borrowers to you that we know um, either their broker has left the business or they can't get a hold of them. And we know this client should be able to get out of the Fisk Garden mortgage into the B or the A space. And we are quite honestly thankful to you to be able to say, I know Terry Lynn can help this person if it's in your area, if it's in the GTA. Yes, yes um, for sure. We're, we're really 
proud of those relationships and with our BFF partners like yourself. Yes, and so am I. Thank you so much, Hallie.